Hey church family, my name is Destiny. And I'm Craig, and we serve on the worship team. For all of you ladies out there, I just want to let you know that our Women's Connect event is still happening. It is not happening in the walls of our church, but it's happening online. So on Monday, this coming Monday, March 23rd, go to our website, wvfc.church, and a video of our very own Megan Nelson will be posted. So excited for what God is doing in the lives of our women. So head to our website Monday because it's going to be life-changing. Guys, during this trying time, uh, last thing we want is to be discouraged. So please, I know we need to social distance ourselves, but get on our Facebook page. Uh, Rachel and Zach Silver are doing amazing things, keeping us updated. Uh, Pastor Andrew is uh, sending out devotional videos and updating that regularly. There's kids and family content to keep up to date with, and there's also some youth messages as well. Yeah, we also just want to encourage you in this time it's very easy to get distracted with what is on Facebook, what is being posted every single day, but this is an amazing opportunity to really spread the love of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. We get to be the hands and feet of Jesus, and like, what an amazing way to be able to step up in this time and be bold, to walk in the call that Jesus has put in our lives, and to truly be his hands and feet. So we just want to encourage you to get out there as much as you can through Facebook, expressing um, if anyone needs help, we are here as the church to serve. That's our heart. So um, stay positive. It's going to be okay. We serve a big God, and he is doing amazing things in this time. So we will see you guys soon. Have a good day. Hey, everyone. I hope this video finds you doing well. And as we get ready to return our tithe and offering to the Lord, I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you that come to mind. As we normally do when we would physically gather on a Sunday, when we give, one of the many reasons we give is to support the mission and the movement of the church. And that certainly doesn't change. And how much more so now during this coronavirus pandemic is the church really trying to figure out how to be the, the hands and the feet of Jesus, how to be a light in the midst of this and to see where the needs are and do something in response. So uh, we continue to give because we continue to support the mission and the movement of the church. Also, what comes to mind is the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter five, six, and seven, where Jesus says, when you pray, when you give, when you fast, sort of assuming that's just what we will be doing. And I think as Christ followers, of course, we know that's what we do. So a couple ways to give. We try to make it as easy as possible. Of course, you can talk to your bank and do bill pay because all, it has to be basically online for the most part, or through the mail. Talk to your bank, you can do bill pay where they pay, uh, they take your tithe and bring it, send it to the church, and actually the church receives 100% of that, there are no fees uh, or, or through the process of that, so that's good to know. Uh, of course you can still mail a check to the church, you can deliver a check to the church during office hours, which you can find online. You can give online, wvfc.church. There's push pay options there where you can give online. If you have an app, our West Valley Foursquare Church app, there's an easy give button there that takes you to push pay. You can even set up reoccurring giving. So we try to make it as easy as possible. Again, why? Because we believe that what we're doing matters. We want to make a difference, especially in this time, but always. We want to make a difference and we want to be impactful to our community. I know the churches around the world are doing the same thing. How can we minister to the people of Athens? So we continue to give, we continue to pray, and uh, we want to make we want to be a light for Jesus. And I believe that when we come back together physically, we're able to gather together again. I believe we're going to be able to grow, have grown uh, in our maturity, in our faith, maybe even grow in numbers as we reach more people online. So share with your friends uh, online, be a part of your friends' life online. And, and when we come back together, it's going to be great. God bless you, and we will see you next time.